Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, so this is a video I am making for all the gate aspirants who will be appearing for gate uh, from next week. And here I am. I am going to give you few final tips uh, that will be regarding your last few days that is remain. That how you will spend these days. What are the things that you should keep in keeping into your mind uh, before the gate exam and there will be few tips uh, for the final day as well there are few things that you need to do on the final day uh, so that you can execute your plan on the final day in the exam hall properly so these things i'm saying from my personal experiences because there are few things that you must do on the final day otherwise the things might mess up so without further ado let's get into the video directly uh, so first thing is that you know from now onwards whatever days is remain try to sleep as much as possible at least eight hours of sleep is needed uh, because for the final few days you need to be in a very relaxed and calm state of mind because see your preparation is done you have taken a very good preparation but the final task the final challenges still remain you have to execute all your plans on the final day in that in those three hours of period that will be given so that's why it's very important that you know you be in a very relaxed and calm state of mind you don't need to be stressed on tensed don't think of all of these things that how the result will be and all all of these things now uh, because you know whatever will happen will happen don't no need to think about those things be in a very calm and relaxed state of mind for the next few days that is remain before the gate exam and that's why sleeping is very important in next few days try to sleep as, as much as possible so that you be in a stable state of mind and don't mess up thing in the final exam the next important thing is on the exam day uh, don't wake up too early uh, i i know it's very it's very easy to say for me it's very difficult for you because you will be anxious but you know try to sleep as as, as, as much as possible before the uh, gate exam day so that you know you wake up on the day very fresh and then you can reach to the exam hall with a very fresh mindset so that when you when you approach the question you can approach it properly uh, with, with fresh mind and that will increase your probability of getting a good score and eventually a good rank next thing uh, few logistics that you know try to carry your water bottle with you uh, because in the exam hall it might happen the source of water or water cooler is far away from your exam center in that case when you need water uh, you need to go maybe a long away so that's why it's very uh, very uh, good idea that you will you will carry your own water bottle with you and next thing i would i would recommend you to carry is uh, carry a jacket or hoodie because sometimes it's happened that you know your your seat or your allocated seat or system is in front of a air conditioner or ac in that case you might feel uh, you know a bit cooler uh, because the air will come from the ac directly to you to avoid the circumstances i would recommend you that carry a jacket or hoodie with you uh, that will be advantageous for you next thing is try to reach the exam hall as early as possible and don't make last minute rush uh, because i know many people have this habit that they get ready late and they start for the exam uh, very late so don't do that uh, start as early as possible and also try to take someone with you don't go alone i mean if you're driving or riding then obviously you, do, you shouldn't go alone and even if you're not driving or riding you're going to some public transport or personal car take uh, another person with you uh, for the emergency and if your exam hall is far away from you i mean if, if suppose it takes two to three hours to reach the exam hall uh, don't take the risk of going to the center on the exam day i will always recommend you that you reach uh, to the nearby place uh, on the on the day before the exam hall and then on the exam day you go to the exam hall now coming to the actual exam the most difficult part uh, so till you see the first question your bp will be high you will be very tensed so for the last 15 minutes it will be very long i mean you might feel that those 15 minutes are not getting over i i i can feel it i have uh, you know i have experienced it many times uh, during my gate preparation so those uh, those minutes before the exam uh, starts uh, it will be it will be very tensed it will be very anxious moment for you and once you once you get a chance to open the question paper if the first question uh, you get from your comfort zone from the topics you have prepared and you if you can solve it that will increase your confidence on the other hand if you find a question that you don't know how to solve or if you found that it is from a topic which maybe you haven't prepared well then your confidence will go low and if you get this kind of questions uh, many in a, in a row and if you are not able to solve three to four questions or five questions in a row 
then obviously uh, there is a chance that you will mess up in the whole exam but there is a mistake please keep it into mind that you need 60 to 70 marks to get into top iits so that's why even if you can't score 30 marks you are still in the race and one thing i'll tell you that before the exam ends you are in the race i mean keep on trying the questions that you know the first attempt i would tell you that you know first your 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 strategy should be like this that whatever questions you are able to solve solve it and whatever questions you feel that they are very difficult you know you don't know maybe you are not sure about how to solve or maybe they're lengthy questions you know the answer but if they're lengthy questions it will take time please you know skip them uh, you know kind of uh, flag it flag them that you will check it after some time and solve the easy question as early as possible and make a pass of the whole question paper that will give you confidence that you know after if you see suppose after one and a half hour you have completed whole question paper once you have see all the questions and maybe you have solved uh, 20 to 25 questions that will give you a, your boost that you have done a certain amount of questions now go back and try to solve the difficult question most tough questions you must attempt at the last try to solve the easy question first then the question which are maybe uh, not so easy maybe a bit lengthy try to solve those questions and at the end try to solve the most difficult question and last thing that i will tell you that you know the questions where there is a negative mark don't attempt those questions without being 100 percent sure you might feel that the question comes from a very a topic where you are very comfortable with and you might be uh, you know a bit tempted to attempt the questions and give the answer but don't give the answer until unless you are 100 percent sure of the of the of the of the answer uh, because it's always better to get zero than negative marks uh, because if you get a negative marks uh, then obviously your rank will be you know lower so that's why keep into your mind that whenever uh, you are you are approaching a question where there is negative mark try to answer it if you are 100% sure finally i'll tell you that tough question will be there obviously all the question won't be easy and there will be some question that is tough and if you if you have really prepared well uh, for the exam those tough questions are actually blessings for you they are met for you so that you can solve them and get a get a get a you know edge uh, from the other other aspirants and you know if you see a series of tough questions maybe two three or four tough questions there is the actual challenge you have to be calm and you have to approach the next question and maybe next 10 questions you are easily able to solve so that mentality you have to build uh, you have to think about it that even if i get two two three or even five questions in a row which i'm not able to solve i'm still in the race and next 10 questions if i solve then then it's okay i mean i i'm, I'm back in today's i'm back in the race and i'm still it, uh, still make it able to the iits so that is the thing please keep it into your mind and that is the kind of mental strain that is needed to you know get through these kind of competitive exams like gate and finally i will say that it's not the end of your life uh, so don't think too much before the exam uh, don't think about the result uh, because you know gate is not the end of your life uh, if you crack the gate you will have some life good life after after gate you can make it to iit even you can't make it to iit there is another ways to be successful in life so that's why it's not the end of your life so don't think too much about the result be relaxed be calm you know enjoy your life and enjoy the exam and try to give your best as, as much as possible and see how it happens believe that you know all your hard work will pay off and you will able to uh, achieve what you have dreamed for yeah so that's it guys that's it about this video and this is for this is the last video for gate 2023 and i wish all the aspirants who wish to follow me in this uh, youtube channel i wish you all uh, all the best very good luck uh, i hope all of you will will do good in gate 2023 and will have a very good gate rank uh, and, and 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 be to a position where you, you have dream, dream for and that's it about this video please like like this video if you've liked it and share this video to other aspirants so that they also get to know about it and if you're new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about it i'll meet you in the next video until then bye